In this tutorial, we will learn how to reconcile leave in cost point 7. This is an important feature in cost point 7. It allows the accountant to true up your leave liabilities and expenses on a periodic basis. This process will create a journal entry to make sure your employees' leave hours are accounted for at their current salary rate. It is important to run this process after annual salary increases, as well as on a monthly basis to ensure your financial statements are accurate and tie out to your leave statements. To start this process for the first time, you will want to follow this path. People, leave, leave controls, configure leave settings. This is to make sure that your leave settings are correct. This step is to avoid any postings to incorrect orgs. Please focus on the leave posting method. Expense at home org and accrual at BS level will post the expense to the employee's full home org and the liability will be at the balance sheet level. Both at home org will use the employee's home org for both the expense and the liability posting. This is important for organizations that want to track separate balance sheets for each org. Both at BS level will use the balance sheet level org for both the expense and the liability. This is good for organizations that want to keep the expense at the top level org. The next step in the initial process of the reconciliation process is to verify the accounts that the leave expense will be posted to. Go to People, Leave, Leave Controls, Manage Leave Types. Pay close attention to the expense and accrual accounts. If there is no accrual account listed, then there will not be accrual for that leave type. Make sure that the accounts listed and the appropriate orgs are linked in the general ledger. If not, you will receive an error while processing step 3. To run the process, go to People, Leave, Leave Utilities, Reconcile Leave Balances. It is highly recommended that you create a parameter ID for this process. If this is your first time, you can just enter a parameter ID and description and hit the save and continue icon after you enter the GL fiscal year and the journal entry accounting period information. I recommend always updating and resaving your parameter after each process so when you query on the saved parameter in the future you will know the last period you processed that parameter. This can be very helpful during month end close processes as well. After entering the data, you can select the preview icon so you can see if any errors exist and or preview the journal entry that will be created. After you have reviewed and or corrected any errors found in step 3, you are ready to select the gears. Please choose the print update option if you would like to also print out your report for your records. If you selected Print Update, you will get a report similar to this one. This report shows the journal entry that was created in Step 4. After you close out of your report, you will be brought back to the Reconcile Leave Balances screen. Please verify that the message states that a journal entry record has been created. Please let the accounting department know the journal entry number. The final step in the process is to have an authorized user post the journal entry created in Step 4. Go to Accounting, General Ledger, Journal Entry Processing, Manage Journal Entries, and query on the journal entry created in Step 4. Approve and Post.